Hi folks and welcome back to Old School Customs. Here's a update on the Schwinn Del Mar. This was intended to go to Florida with me and it just was not, I just didn't have the time to get it all together and make it reliable. But here's a couple things that I did to it since I'm home. I took off the tensioner that was coming from this direction and I put in a half link as two of my viewers had, had suggested and it worked. So I got rid of the tensioner with a half link and it worked out fine. So the other issue I have right now is my intake is maybe too long and uh, I had purchased one of those um, I think it's a 32 millimeter to 40 millimeter and it was too small and none of the bolt holes lined up correctly without modification so I put this back on I do have a new carburetor because those little tabs underneath the clamp broke off and I just wanted to test it so I had like bl liquid black tape and, and silicone on here to seal that up it's enough to run but I my, my new carburetors have arrived Another thing one of the viewers had said that my motor was um, rocking. So I'm gonna hold the bike. There is absolutely no rock in this motor. I have three points of contact. The front point of contact, tight as fuck. The upper rear motor mount and the lower rear motor mount, tight as fuck. This motor's not moving at all. couple viewers were bewildered why I would put a shift kit on a bike with no gears. Okay, let me explain. Apparently I'm not typing this correctly in the comment section. I did not know that there was such thing as a shift kit. I bought a jack shaft kit to eliminate the chain on the one side of the bike. Okay, see, notice there's no chain on this side of the bike nothing clamping on my spokes nothing destroying it i've had this bike for four years and i had the clamp on the rear spokes and it destroyed my back rim that's why there's a cnc hub clamp which is also failing if you can see that spoke right there there's a bend in it so that needs taken apart put back in position and retightened with some something else and i don't know what i'm going to do with that yet but back to this it was until after I put this bike together and joined a bunch more groups on Facebook that I realized they made a shift kit which is the same as a jack shaft kit I was simply just trying to eliminate one of the chains that I could not purchase like I believe this is a 415 chain on here when I broke it a year ago in Florida nobody could replace my chain for me so I thought to myself, well, I'll put the shift, the jack, sh jack shaft kit on, and if I break one of these chains, this chain or this chain, I could go to Walmart and replace them. So I was not aware that there was such thing as a shift kit, which is an awesome idea. And this motor will probably get removed from this bike at some point, and uh, I'll put it on a bike with gears. I have another Schwinn Frontier that is green I might put it on or a, another Schwinn Frontier that's gray um, I have several bikes that are top prospects for the shift kit 21 speed bikes which would allow me seven gears to shift from the rear correct okay I think I'm correct on that so you're eliminating your front your front sprocket would look like this one's coming down and one is going to the back so you no longer have three sprockets on the front so that would be 7 14 21 you would still have the seven gears on the back so I would have a seven speed and that's probably what I'm gonna do but that's not my original intention my original intention was just reliability as far as breaking a chain but I never ended up using this bike anyway. It was just a fun little build 
put BMX handlebars. Um, after actually after riding, I mean I've been riding this bike for four years. Getting onto this bike is very uncomfortable for me. It feels funny. It's too squat. I'm six foot three, and uh, that's more of the size bike I need. So yesterday when I got rid of the the tensioner on the jack shaft chain I was able to get it started and I was able to run it around the neighborhood and um, I'm going to show you what it's doing right now because it, I can't wind it out and I think it's this tube is too long so let me show you what it's doing Okay, another thing that came up in the comment section that seems to be unclear to everybody and I'm not making myself clear. This is the kind of button that I prefer. Watch. I touch this, but doom and I pull this in and da doom while I'm riding. Now this one, oh, and look at, it came broken. And I actually have to like, what do I move it like this? Or do I move it like this while I'm in an intersection that's what I was talking about it was a piece of shit and I replaced it with these they were like six dollars or something online I bought half a dozen of them voila so for now I need to figure out a different intake and put the new carburetor on I think that's a lot of my problem and how why I'm running bad it's not winding out if you have any ideas, why don't you uh, sprinkle it down in the uh, comment section below. Try to be nice, people. Nobody's being snarky and sarcastic here. Thank you for watching Old School Customs. Have a good day.